If we have created a cell zone within the mesh, we can use it to define a porous region, moving reference frame and source terms. So, let's select a solver which supports heat transfer. For example, we can choose Bion Pimple Foam Solver. It supports compressible flows, buoyancy, porosity and multiple reference frames. When we click Select, new panels with solver-specific options will appear on the left-hand side. So, now we are ready to review all the options that are available for the created cell zone. For example, we can define a porous zone using either Power Law or Darcy's model. At the same time, we can define the rotating reference frame within the cell zone. It will appear here, and if we move to the MRF tab, we can specify rotational speed as constant or as a table. The table gives us the possibility to define velocity magnitude which varies in time. If we click Edit Table, we can define velocity magnitude, for example, 50 meters per second at time zero and 55 meters per second after one second. If we need more points in time, we can add a row and set velocity magnitude after two seconds to be 65 meters per second. At these settings, velocity magnitude is linearly approximated between two points in time. All the boundaries within the cell zone are rotating by default. To disable this option for specific boundaries, we can select static boundaries here. Another useful feature is the possibility to define one or more source terms in the cell zone. If we switch to the Sources tab, we can define source terms using absolute values or values per unit volume. By default, the checkbox next to absolute values is not selected and all the source terms are defined per cubic meter. So, if we want to define a heat source, it will be expressed in watts per cubic meter. However, if we choose to use absolute values, we have to define the source term for the entire cell zone. In the case of heat source, it would be expressed in watts. We can add source terms to specific equations here. For example, if we want to add a heat source, we have to check enthalpy, that is H here. If we want the source terms to be constant, we need to specify the explicit term. However, if the source term should be a linear function of the physical field, we should also define the linear term, that is the proportionality constant.